This is my version of Crazy Man's Handcuffs using a matchstick and an elastic band but with a bit of a twist. Most of the time when this is performed, the objects melt through each other, but kind of like that, so you can't really see what's going on. I want to change that. You see, I want to do a version where they melt through each other in slow motion and out in the open. And well, it would look something like this. As you can see, matchstick inside the elastic band. Three, two, one. They pass right through each other perfectly. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the studio. And today I'm going to be watching Magic Tricks in 0.25 speed to see whether they hold up. Not just any magic tricks, but my own magic tricks, which makes this a whole lot worse. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off with the how to make a clear switch box video. This was my last video performance of it. I thought at the time was pretty clean, but I've not watched it back in 0.25 speed yet. So we're about to find out how clean it really is. First of all, in just normal speed. So let's just watch that back. Personally, I think this looks pretty good. That looks pretty damn clean to me. I can't see anything in normal speed that gives that away. And especially not with the color change because there's just so much cover. I think this is a safe place to start. All right, playback speed, 0.25. Let's go. I just don't see this being revealed. Yeah, nothing. You can't, the cover is just imperceptible. And in the box, I don't think you can see anything. <sighs> I'm glad this one holds up. <laughs> I'm very glad this one holds up. What about the, uh, like the color changes? My hands have this weird like thing where they're, they're really gappy. I think I spoke about this in the last one. So even if I give something full cover, there is a chance that you can just see through my hands, which is, a bit annoying as a magician, but it's never too much of an issue. And this one holds up, this one gets a big tick. So moving on to the next video, uh, which is, we'll, we'll just go back to the previous one. Let's see how the salt vanish holds up. So I'm brushing the salt away. Oh, I think this might be obvious. Uh, not too bad. Okay, I was expecting a lot worse. I was expecting all of a sudden it, for it to be quite obvious. I, I kind of lost faith, but it, it, it works. It works. To sort of criticize my performance here, I think the main issue with it was that I show my hand to be a little bit too empty when there is meant to be salt in it. And obviously I'm removing the gimmick with the salt inside it, but I accidentally show too much of my open hand, which doesn't make sense. If there really was salt still inside there, then my fist would be more closed, but that's that. The next one I want to take a look at is my performance of Camberwell, which is my signed card torn corner vanish. So let's take a look at that. This is from 2020. So some time ago, but let's see if the performance holds up. First off in normal speed, this is what it looks like. I love this trick. <laughs> I love this trick. I perform it quite regularly, but I need to perform it more. Every time I, every time I remember it, I'm like, oh, I should perform this more because it's really fun. I think this is going to be pretty clean. The one thing I regret about this performance is dropping the card because I wish I could show in a moment when the piece reappears. I wish I could show that they line up but for some reason when I was filming, I just dropped the card. So that's the one thing I don't like, but that's not really a, a sort of technical criticism. So in slow motion, I really hope this holds up. Okay, no flashes of the thing that has been done to the card. Nothing so far. Ooh, tiny, tiny flash. The absolute smallest flash in the world right there. Ooh, this looks pretty good. That was the move right there. Yeah, it holds up. Ooh. Goodness me, it's stressful. 
<laughs> oh, this will be a fun one. The perfect vanish. This was a video I did a couple of months ago where you vanish an object out in the open in short sleeves. It's not the most practical method in the world. If you've watched this tutorial, you'll know how it's done. Uh, but it's really fun to perform and it's kind of one of those magician pleasers rather than a crowd pleaser. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at this because I am interested to see whether this holds up in slow motion. I have a feeling that it won't really, but that's kind of not the point of this method. But let's have a look. We're going straight to 0.25 speed here. Okay, got the Sharpie cap. I don't think this will work. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Again, like I said, not the most practical method in the world. Yeah, if you don't already know how that trick's done, well, you do now. This right here was a video I did about EDC items, like magic you can do with borrowed objects. Pretty cool vanish there. And then this bottle top through cheek. I'm interested to see whether this looks any good. Got the nail file. Ooh, it's... It's okay. It's oh, you can tell that something's happening, but the effect definitely stands. It definitely works. The ditch off camera, maybe not so much. I think it's a bit obvious why my hand drops out of frame. Um, but overall, pretty damn clean. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a great vanish. This one, similarly, I don't think we'll be able to see anything happening here. Ooh, again, the gappy fingers. The gappy fingers are giving away the bottle top a little bit, but at full speed, you would never see that. And then through the cheek. I mean, there's nothing There's nothing to flash here. It's already in my cheek. Spoilers, but I'm happy. It gets a pass. It gets a slightly lower grade than the others, uh, but it, it's a pass. Uh, now let's watch this one, which was uh, card through t-shirt. It was a YouTube short I did. One of the two YouTube shorts I've posted to this channel. At full speed, this is a, a trick that I absolutely love and I do perform in person. Have a playing card. Grip it under the shirt. It's just damn clean. It melts through. Shirt is ungimmicked, by the way. There really are no holes in the shirt. I know some people thought that maybe there was a hole you just can't see, but no, that's not how it's done. Again, holds up pretty well. Now let's go to 0.25. There's a moment of it I want to rewatch. So the card goes up. Yeah. Oh, there's a flash. No way. You would not see that in full speed. I'm, a, I'm so annoyed by that. The melting through the t-shirt, it does look really good. It looks really convincing. And I think that's why people think there's a hole in the t-shirt. But wow, there's a flash. Some people got a little bit annoyed last time I did this watching Magic in 0.25 speed, but this is a feature that's available on YouTube. And this is a feature that magicians should be aware of and should be actively watching back their performances with because any spectator can now do that. Yeah, it, it's something I'd recommend for magicians to analyze your performances if you really want to nitpick. Again, that is what this is. It is nitpicking. I know that this is not a realistic way or a fair way of watching magic always, but certainly is eye-opening. The next one I want to take a look at in slow motion is match through elastic band, which is actually taught on the Magician Club. So you can learn this trick on the Magician Club. Okay, here we go. At full speed, boom. <laughs> I I don't think this will I don't think this will flash. I'm pretty confident. I'm going in pretty confident. Go on, please work, please work. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with that. Frame by frame. Let's see. Oh no, you can't, it just pops through. You can't see a thing, yes! <laughs> Finally, a trick that can fully beat the slow motion. That's a match through elastic band, by the way, that's item 81 of the membership. You can get all 81 items for $5. Go to the magician.club or link in the description if you want to learn that trick, plus 80 more. Personally, I think it's the best deal in magic, but I know I'm biased. A big magic company would sell that trick on its own for $10, I guarantee, so. 
yeah, link in the description if you want to learn that. And I think we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Leave some suggestions down in the comments as to moves or tricks or past videos that you want me to watch in this format and give it the 0.25 speed treatments. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe as well if you're new and you made it to this point of the video. I think you'll like the videos that are to come. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.